like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Broken glass everywhere. People pissing on the stage. You know they just don't care. I can't take the smell. Can't take the noise. Got no money to move out. I guess I got no choice. Rats in the front room. Roaches in the back. Junkies in the alley with the baseball bat. I tried to get away, but I couldn't get far. Cause a man with the tow truck repossessed my car. Don't push me. Cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Standing on the front stoop, hanging out the window, watching all the cars go by, roaring as the breezes blow. A crazy lady living in a bag, eating out of garbage pails. Used to be a fag hag, such a dance to tango. Skipped the life and dango. A silk on print to seem to lost her senses. Down at the peep show, watching all the creeps, so she can tell the stories to the girls back home. She went to the city and got so, so, so ditty. She had to get a pimp, she couldn't make it on her own. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. My brother's doing fast on my mother's TV. Says she watches too much. It's just not healthy. All my children in the daytime, Dallas at night. Can't even see the game or the Sugar Ray fight. The bill collectors, they ring my phone and scare my wife when I'm not home. Got a bum education, double digit inflation. Can't take the train to the job. There's a strike at the station. A neon King Kong standing on my back. Can't stop to turn around. Broke my sacroiliac, a mid range migraine, cancer membrane. Sometimes I think I'm going insane. I swear I might hijack a plane. Don't push me. Call, I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. School, cause the teacher's a jerk. He must think I'm a fool. And all the kids smoke reefer. I think it'd be cheaper if I just got a job, learn to be a street sweeper. I dance to the beat, shut for my feet, wear a shirt and tie, and run with the creeps. Cause it's all about money. Ain't a damn thing funny. You got to have a con in this land of milk and honey. They push that girl in front of the train, took her to the doctor, sold her arm on the game. Stabbed that man right in his heart. Gave him a transplant for a brand new start. I can't walk through the park cause it's crazy after dark. Keep my hand on my gun cause they got me on the run. I feel like an outlaw, broke my last glass jaw. Hear them say, you want some more living on a seesaw? Don't push me cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Say what? It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. A child is born with no state of mind, blind to the ways of mankind. God is smiling on you, but he's frowning too, because only God knows what you'll go through. You'll grow in the ghetto, living second rate, and your eyes will sing a song, cause deep hate. The places you play and where you stay looks like one great big alleyway. You'll admire all the number book takers, thugs, pimps, and pushers, and the big money makers. Jobbing big cars, spending twenties and tens, and you want to grow up to be just like them. Huh. Smugglers, scramblers, burn. Burglars, gamblers, pickpocket peddlers, even panhandlers. You say I'm cool, I'm no fool, but then you wind up dropping out of high school. Now you're unemployed, all non void, walking around like your pretty boy Floyd. Turn stick up, kid, but look what you done did. Got 
got sent up for an eight-year bid. Now your manhood is took, and you're a make tag. Spend the next two years as an undercover fag, being used and abused to serve like hell. To one day you was found hung dead in the cell. It was plain to see that your life was lost. You was cold and your body swung back and forth. But now your eyes sing the sad, sad song of how you live so fast and die so young. So don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. <laughs> Yo, Mel, you see that girl, man? Yeah, man. Yo, that sound like cowboy, man. Cool? Yo, what's up, buddy? Yo. Bruh. Hey traders, welcome to episode 595 of the show. You could be doing anything, but you're here. Appreciate it. Just some random Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. Mm. People will remember this day, I'm sure, right? The day that Bitcoin hit a 70% retrace from its previous high to low and reverses price action. Just happened to be Cypher-esque. Okay. 60 minutes of uh, bearish divergence was there. Remember, did a static video on it, right? But there was none on the four hour. Okay. So we have now squared up 11,900. We got very, very close to a square up down here around 11,500. I mean, you were maybe $50 off if it didn't get squared up anyway. Excuse me. So the yellow lines between 11645, 11768, dude, that's critical areas of support, man. That's big time. You don't want to fall below that. Because if you do, there's not really much support after that until 10,800. All you have to do is look at the daily to know what's going on, man, right? Big daily bearish engulfing candle. But bouncing for now, look left off the critical support february march january 2018 that is what we're holding for now not sure how far uh we'll recover but again i mean it would make sense the first time you hit areas like this to see some buy orders come in pop this price back up okay that is for now so again your critical areas uh what people should be like focusing on is uh 11,650 or so, right? Because falling below that could be bad, right? I mean, you know, you've got 11,500, uh, 11,250. You got all these areas down here where you could fall to, but for now, this is where we're holding. Okay. Uh, you go to the weekly. Hello? Yeah, go to the weekly. That's exactly where we're bouncing, right? Weekly wicks. All right never came down to the candle high close that we broke earlier zoom out look at that weekly weekly still looks fine man you just had a really insane run up and you're just pulling back so still many days left until this candle closes got, got till sunday dude i turned the music down it was quiet i oh, never mind that was because of the urban urban thanks dude for the sub welcome all right, still in the green on the weekly, still above critical resistance. Remember, you want to close the weekly above 11,700. It's like the top of the wick. This is like the resistance. Well, it was resistance. When you break it, you want to hold above it. With well, candle close confirmation, it's always the best. You got to have that. So, we're still okay for now, chat. Still okay on this insane run we've been on. Pretty much quadrupling up from the bottom. So, so you can see clearly some selling pressure up here. Uh, maybe we recover throughout the week. 
Maybe not. I mean, you just got to hold. I mean, I think 11,500 to 11,758 is so important, man. Got to hold that. Okay. Rejected it twice as a resistance. You know, closed right at it, but now we're breaking it. So when you break something, you need to uh, stay above it. Motion mark, I'm in the chat. Let's go. Dude, motion mark, man. Thanks so much for joining. Is that a joint? Bruh. Patreon. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, I believe that is. Uh... What does that put us on? Bruh. Dude, thank you. 260 patrons strong now, chat. I can't believe this, man. Thank you. All right, seriously, thank you so much. Whew. All right. So we look at the weekly, look at the daily, look at the 60 minute, four hour, man. I guess we can look at four hour, whatever. Uh, you are inverse head and shoulders. Never got a target, you know, 13,212 or so is as high as we got. And the target was around 14,000. So just sometimes it doesn't happen. Look, you reject it up here, right? The resistance at uh, 12,986, right? One, two, three, four rejections to higher prices. That's price action, man. Two rejection, pullback. Four bearish engulfing dumpage, all right? It's the first bearish engulfing candle we've had since July 4th. Happy 4th, everyone. Okay, happy 10th. Okay. Anyway, thanks for the uh, 1,005 people tuned in right now. We're just looking at Bitcoin on all the time scales. Whatever, man. All right. Holding support for now. You break that. Could be a nice move down 11.5 and then eventually 10.8. Let's go to the uh, log scale chart. It doesn't even look like that crazy on log scale. Uh, daily. Right, you can just, you can see it. I mean, it's a bearish engulfing candle on the daily. We had another bearish engulfing candle on the daily, June 27th, that uh, we did sell off. But for now, uh, you're just pulling back. You're at the heart line of the channel. Held us support before. Hit the 75% trend line as a resistance, right? You're still outside of this uh, downslope consolidation that you broke out of, right? Maybe you're back testing it. Yeah, you have now back tested the resistance as support for now. Okay. So, uh, you know, I think we talked about in the daily video yesterday, there's plenty of room for downside, pretend, or there's plenty of room to run to the downside, plenty of room to run to the upside, or you're in the dead middle of the uptrend you've been in since uh, February 8th. Okay. So you have, uh, you were unable again to break above the January. 20th 2018 candle high close you hit it you broke it briefly moments of euphoria chat i remember y'all freaking out and uh as the uh evening progressed down one bitcoin bitcoin okay down to the next available support which is very close to where you are right now okay Whew. altcoins needless to say destroyed like Critical support's broken, like XRP. Don't even be talking about XRP, man. Low and so barbecue, the flame went out, stopped out. It's done, man, okay? So now we're just waiting for something else to come along. Waiting for coinciding variables. Waiting to see what Bitcoin's gonna do, because Bitcoin literally dominates and owns these these altcoins, okay? So Michael Baker, man. Pablo, thanks for the sub. All right, say hi to chat real quick. Oh, so Sam says here's two euros to add to your 2K losing trade on Bitcoin. Did you literally buy in on Bitcoin? That you're saying, Sam? That's that wasn't uh, don't think that was part of the plan, right? So uh, anyway, thank you. What's up, uh, Chris K, Third Eye Trader, Laura Lee in the house, Bruh. Dave Jones, Julia, Sean Whitaker, 
There's Bradford, Dallas 214, Crypto Bird Dog, Ron Nichols, Chris Eiler, I guess. Well, there's look, Kang Logan, you ready, man? You ready? Well, you got a couple days. Hey, John's a town in the house. Doing well, man. Dang, dude. I was out with that girl till really early in the morning. Like, I can't even, like, what? It was good, though. It was real good. Uh, did the head and shoulders play out for Bitcoin? Uh, it did, but never hit the measure move. Uh, though it, it could still be going on. I mean, like, if we go to the four hour real quick, let me go back to it and show you what we're doing with that neckline. We're back testing it. Squaring up and back testing. As you can see, chat, what has occurred? Let me just extend it out just a little bit for you. Well, well, well. That's what's happened for now. That happens. Ran up. Big throwback, pullback. With a back test bounce off of it. And the horizontal line support we know that is also there. Okay. Let me uh, change the visibility on this. What? Oh. Hey, Dave Rogers. Thanks for the uh, sub, man. Welcome. Glad you found me, man. Thank all of you for being here. We have a good time, man. We have a good time even when Big Cone sells off. It's okay, man. All right. Just crazy, man. 786, the PCZ. <sighs> and it's just so nice to see that we've already retraced 38% of the way from our previous low. Okay. And uh, yeah, man, it looks like you're getting like tweezer bottom stuff right now. Like that's a nice rejection twice, but 60 minute, not four hour, right? So, you know, you'd like to see that on four hour time scale more so than the 60 minute, even though we know like this could manifest into some higher prices, but uh, it could only be a, a lower high before selling off again. Do you think filling the CME gaps is still a concern? Jeb, uh, I don't really ever have it as a concern in my mind because if I had the CME gap fills in my mind all the time, then I would be second guessing the strategy, right? The, the coinciding variables, the things that, uh, you know, you should take heed of when taking a long or possibly just leaving uh, a trade, right? So I don't know, man, I don't, I'm not concerned about it, no. Uh, though it could happen and can happen and does happen all the time. Uh, yeah, I think we filled the gap at 99.50 or whatever. We haven't filled the gap from 85.15. Bitcoin futures chart down 12,090. Okay, bearish engulfing candle here as well. Look at that. Tried to break the heart line. You just couldn't, man. And I'm sure it's like Cypher stuff too on the 60 minute, whatever. So that's okay, man. That is okay. Look, the trend is still intact. What are you worried about? What are you worried about, man? It's just a big red candle. It's just a pullback. It happens after long runs. I mean, since we started recovering July 5th, we had not really stopped. Bro, what am I going to do? Kappa, I know what I'm going to do because I entered my trade with a plan thanks to your tutelage. Gangs. Bruh. Uh, Skinner's Rat, thanks for 333 repeating, of course. Yeah, dude, that's, the, uh, that's what you got to do, man, right? Like people asking in here, oh, should I buy? Should I sell? It's like, clearly, you don't have a plan. So if you don't plan, you're just going to get wrecked, dude. Okay, and then you're going to blame someone for telling you what to do when it was your responsibility. But no, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but maybe other people would. And uh, you got to be responsible for yourself. Okay, don't be just like listening to people. Here, I'll just tell you what, what can happen and what would happen if we if it did happen, right? Whereas like if it did reverse this price action here where we could go and just happen to play out, man. It's probabilities, right? It just as easily could have broken the upside and kept running, but... Again, man, we don't have expectations. No expectations, chat. Mentality must have. Oh, I didn't get a haircut. I'm getting one tonight, though. After this stream, I'll get a haircut. Was that what just happened? Sorry, missed a lot of chat. 
Uh, please start your streams earlier. You're in the UK. Michael Baker, thanks for the two euro. Uh, yeah, I was planning on it, but I got stuff going on IRL. So I have to, uh, I'm planning like I'm packing, I'm doing things. Travel, traveling TA soon, chat. Okay, traveling TA. So you'll see. I don't know, man. Like, I want to take, I want to get another webcam. Maybe I'll just go I'll buy one when I'm traveling. When I'm like in Austin or something, I'll like get the Brio there at a Best Buy or something. But dude, the webcam is so trash on my, my laptop, dude. When I do traveling streams, it's so scuffed. It's bothering me. So I'll get it figured out. But hold on. I got more renovations. So like they're replacing one of my doors. Hold on. Bruh, they're here. I gotta let them in. I'll be right back. This is so stupid. It's like every day, man. I'm so tired of it. I can't wait to move. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. It happens, dude. Just like... 
if you own a home, you know what it's like if you're trying to sell it. Okay, so, well, when you're planning on doing that. Just getting everything ready. It's just like, every day, man. So, hype in the chat for a brand new door or something. Okay, 60 minutes. Bitcoin is definitely should. Tweezer bottom. Bullish Arami, hammer, whatever you want to call it, at a critical support. No divergence or anything, though. I mean, you got a little oversold and now you're just rallying. Doesn't mean that you're going to make a higher high than your previous high, but it is a, a nice support for now. Okay. Over 12,000 again, chat. Bruh. Did it. So, what did I miss, chat? What have you been talking about besides the big can? We can uh, go back to the future chart. All right, twelve thousand ninety right now. So the future and spot price pretty, pretty even spread, pretty close anyway. Not bad. But here, here you go, man. Like, look what happened. Like the lower high so far, gross. Still good on the RSI, but I mean, you know, that's pretty clear convergence, isn't it? New island, different island. High on price, slightly lower high on price, much lower levels positive Momo for now. But it's okay. I mean, until you fall below like a uh, moving target, right? 11,000, you should be fine for the uptrend. Okay. So we're good, man. You weren't supposed to see me. All right. I don't have like invisible clothes. Well, invisible person, human, I don't know. If my clothes are invisible, I'll be naked. So. Insert hype, King Logan. <laughs> See, then, then people are saying, don't uh, start the stream earlier. This is a perfect time. Danged if you do, danged if you don't, man. Okay. Even with two streams, it's just not good enough, man. Not good enough. We get another shot at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they, we never got it. We got one, two, three, four, five, seven, six. Then we also had one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. That was hilarious too. Someone Snapchatted that I think to me or something. Hold on. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, so we can go to Ethereum Connect. I have been a long time lurker in the chat since mid 2018. I've never tipped on YouTube before, but your TA and knowledge you have passed on to the community has compelled me to. Thank you. Bruh. Michael Samosan, thank you so much for the 999 uh, super chat, and it's an honor to be the first person you've ever tipped on YouTube. Oh, uh, thank you, man. Really appreciate that. Hi in the chat for Michael Simo uh, Simison or Simosin, yeah. Thank you, dude. All right, twelve thousand forty. We're bouncing, man. We're bouncing off the critical support after a square up, and almost another square up. Almost could argue that was a square up, dude. You were so close, dude. So anyway, no reason. Like maybe on the shorter time scales. But like on the 60 minute even, you don't have any divergence, right? You want to wait. I mean, I like waiting for divergence or pattern development look at the weekly TF support line since inception or since 2011? Longest back you can go. The weekly... Hold on, let me uh, finish up on Ethereum and then we will do that. Okay, John Barrow, thanks, man. So just Ethereum connect, man, and it's uptrend and lower high so far, right? Lower high. We've seen it before. Lower high in the uptrend. But you went to lower prices before you ran again. All right. So uh, 318. Well, that's sorry, man. That's a critical resistance we did not break. But uh, how far we fell wasn't so bad, right? You're still holding above the critical 277, the 290 area. Okay. Holding that really big deal. And you are for now. It was like on the daily, we had like an evening star bearish harami right there, and then big sell off. Uh, all coins, you know how it is, man. All coins have just been struggling pretty hard. This whole, uh, I don't know, 
since Bitcoin has been recovering, uh, alts really haven't been recovering. It, it was like only a hand, handful have been, okay? So, yeah, you're, you're just like you thought, look, it was waning. The negative memo was waning. You think, hey, maybe we're re resetting our oscillator and we're going to start making green positive memo, you know, whatever. And uh, we didn't. We just uh, showed even more red, picked up negative memo, and sold off. But again, your critical area for Ethereum is 277. You don't want to fall below that. I don't Love the stream. I've learned a lot. Neo, Retro, Photo. Thanks for the 420. Is that a joint? Contribution. Really appreciate it, man. Very cool. Thank you, dude. I'm uh, glad you you watch, man. All of you. Uh, it means a lot. And sorry, sorry again about the door thing, dude. It's just like, you know how it is, man. You've been seeing it. It's like people just coming in and out of my house, like... Replacing things, renovating things. You know how it is, man. Thanks for the 1,300 people here. Thanks for the 182 likes. Uh, if you're enjoying the live stream, hit the like button, the bell, the sub. You know, cadence. Gotta do it, man. Just a friendly reminder or something. Okay. Smashing doors. Watching all charts. Now, this door, I think, on my house has been around for like 20 years or something. It's like uh, the storm door, or not the storm door, but like the the front door, and there's like a literal like cr weather crack through it, cause like my house, like midsummer days, like the in, like you know afternoon, that sun is just beating down on that door for a really long time, and it just literally cracked. So it's like okay, gotta replace that too, man. That's cool. What about Ethereum? What about it, dude? We just looked at it. Need to follow up on that one uh, inquiry. Some of them with a weekly on Bitcoin. With this breakdown, does this essentially complete the harmonic pattern from this point forward? And where is it by the dip audio you play from? So again, like, yes, you have hit the pattern is complete, right? Of course, it's certainly done, but it's not, we don't know exactly where it will end. All right, so the pattern completed itself when it decided to make a swing high here and sell off, right? As soon as we started selling here, it was like, all right, pattern's complete. Pattern completion zone, going above it, uh, you run the risk of invalidating it completely. So well, you hit these areas and you look for at these areas, on somewhat of significant time scale, at least a 60 minute, right? You're looking for bullish divergence, right? And normally you don't get bullish divergence. I'm sorry. When you sell off the first impulse is just the beginning. So what'll happen is you'll hit critical areas of support. You'll hit profit taking levels for people who did get take a short here up there, right? Then it rallies. And a lot of times it'll hit new resistance again. And, uh, you know, next Momo is so high still, it won't be able to make higher highs than that previous high because it's such a large drop. I'm gonna make lower highs and selling off again, testing the same area. And this is where it starts getting fun and interesting, right? 60 minute, four hour, you could start seeing, hey, there might be a potential double bottom here. Might be there, there might be a bullish divergence on the 60 minute on the potential double bottom, or we break this support and run down to the next targets, next areas, okay? And then we could show like class A bullish divergence. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So that's what you're doing. Uh, so you don't have like one, like, okay, again, I'm, I look at significant time scales. If you just have an impulse and it's been less than 24 hours since the impulse started, chances are for a swing trader, these aren't the areas for you. Now for scalpers, maybe, yeah, sure. Like short time scales, whatever, do your thing, buying supports, uh, but all right, have fun. Like what's your profit taking level? What are you gonna do if you took a scalp here? Like you gotta have that trading plan. So that's a different world that I don't do, but other people do it, scalping stuff. So again, I'm waiting for more development here. Okay, we just completed the pattern. That's it. I think that's what you were asking, right? Okay, so um, the question was a minute ago. Weekly support from inception or 2011. Okay, let me go bit stamp then, all right? Let's throw it in my ass, gotcha. Bit stamp. It's all up. Long scale kid. Jeez, man. 
So I'm trying to, you know, like, what do you mean, man? Interesting. I don't know, man. You're trying to ask me, like, uh, some sort of support from 2011. If you had it, I think you broke it, maybe. Yeah, you'd broken it. And now you're, like, back above it, I guess? I, I don't know. I think this is what he's asking. He's trying to... I'm trying to, like, visualize what he was asking in the TTS. Okay, so... I'm gonna try... Here to facilitate... I don't know. Um, so he's, like, 2011. All right, low. Okay, new anchor points. Then you broke it barishly. Then rallied, and now you're, like, kind of above it or something. Is that what you're talking about? Because... Yeah, we had that before, and it was a breakout. But, like, you know, for the Equitus channel, this chat this is all the way back to 2011. So, it's like anger point one, and two, and three. And so, so we bounced off the heart line there and rallied on up. And it looks like the 75% trend line is around like 18,000 or so. Uh, but again, man, I don't know, man. This is long term stuff, right? Again, the way we had it before was like this and it was pretty freaking sweet before the big dumping happened I mean it's pretty nice you get log scale you have to have it so you're like out of it and now you're like getting back in it we're trying to anyway right it's like you're kind of back testing it is that what you were asking dude okay all right what's up chip P yeah man of course, long-term holder. Yes, I believe uh, I have taken the low-risk, high-reward opportunity of my lifetime. I think, and that's Bitcoin. And it's like when I'm on my deathbed, I'll be like, "Haha, I lived a life of oh well, not what if." Okay. So anyway, dude, that's it for now. That's all you got going for you. If you're trying to include everything the way it was before, you broke out. Okay. So Rachel Rhodes, a scared dump. What is a scared dump, tie dye? I mean, dude, like, yeah, Bitcoin's completely fine. I mean, right now in the four hour, Bitcoin's trying to create a hammer. Very nice. Uh, a hammer off the, the heart line we broke out of, right? You back testing it and now rallying 12,082. All right, continuing to climb some. Very cool. Negative memo, trying to dwindle, somewhat's waning. It was a decent amount of volume that came in on 60 minute. For the selling so really not a big deal man i mean thinking about it big one's down four percent today chat really the only people crying the blues are people that fomoed in at a pcz are fomoed in well after a breakout right there was an area i mean like dude on a breakout of the inverse head and shoulders you went up like over well over a thousand dollars okay so just one of your thoughts about that long term sure john uh thank you for the two yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, man. Uh, again, like I feel like you could adjust almost and be like with two anchor points on the top side now. I mean, like I thought about it like that too. Where it's like after this, you know, you ran up, you sold off major low, then you rallied again. And it's like you never quite touched the bottom. That's just one way of looking at it. But then Mitch, also, you are a boss. Do you ever use the moving averages in your TA? Certainly. Uh, I used to use them a lot more, but I started like reviewing my streams and just realizing how much more it's like, you know, when I'm doing complex technical analysis with harmonics, support resistance, Fibonacci, uh, you start having the moving average there and all of a sudden you just see like, it just gets busy, too busy. And so yeah, you're bouncing on the 60 minute, you're bouncing on the 200 moving average. Okay, well, guess what? The 200 moving average was confluent with the horizontal line support. So, you know, not having the 200 on my screen, I still knew this was a very critical support and it didn't have anything to do with the 200 moving average. Okay. Okay, man. Hey, 12,100. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Let's recover. Big kind of recovery. Again, the four hour looks like a hammer. We hammered it. Right, so you see what I'm saying? Adam T, thank you for the 17. Bruh.
Super champion. All right. I mean, that's as good as I guess you can get it at this point. Containing everything inside the parameters of the uh, the Equidison channel, right? This is the George Soros chart or something, right? Resistance from here is uh, you're at one. You're at or trying to break at the resistance from uh, July 3rd. Uh, there's just resistance all around here, you know, I mean, 12,200, then after that, 12,400, 500, right? I mean, it's all up in here, all right? So you're breaking this, good. So candle high close, 12,130, and then wickage, 12,260 or something. And again, candle high close, 12,361. I mean, really, 12,366 and 12,439, those are your big areas. Remember, we had a, we struggled there for a moment, we broke it. Uh, fell below it, back to like broke back up above it, and then back tested again before rallying once more on the 60 minute. Well, four hour, everything, right? But uh, good, man. 12,109. All right, moving averages. Yes, they're there. I just, again, I'm trying to stream, so it's not like I, I'm just looking at them, you know, and uh, it's just me. I'm trying to create the least amount of confusion as possible. But that's really tough when you're doing like complex charting and stuff because people are like, what, what the heck is even Fibonacci? I'm just tuning in for the first time, right? So, hey, look, if you want to learn about Fibonacci, which I highly recommend you learn about Fibonacci, everyone in here, if you want to, go to my YouTube channel, check out the education tab, and go to uh, How to Fibonacci. It's like a 15, 16 minute video. Get a coffee, get ready, and watch it. Just sit there and watch it and become learned. You want to learn more about fibs, man. It's it's hardcore, dude. <laughs> Toby said, notice I only go live when it's bullish. Hey, uh, kid, I uh, go live literally every day. Maybe you only show up when it's bullish. How about that, dude? I have a scheduled time that I've been abiding by for a long time, dude. So, uh, I like pretentious comments sometimes from chat. I guess it keeps it spicy. Good God, man. Are holders not welcome? Of course, holders are welcome, but you can have a, a hold mentality as well. You look at long term position and short term positions. I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Fibonacci does not work on burial charts. What does that mean? Uh, did you see me doing Fibonacci on the Bitstamp chart just then? Ooh, Todd Anderson, thanks, man. He says using his free super chat. Keep it good work. Thank you, man, for the uh, support, dude. Appreciate it. Weekly uh, stochastic RSI. Uh, well, I mean, one sec. Weekly. You were concerned about the weekly. Now, this isn't stochastic, but uh, the stochastic works very similar to the RSI. What is the concern, my friend? John. You're concerned about our overboughtness? or 80? Yeah, man. I mean, that's really hot. That's very overbought. And we've been there before, right? We've been much higher before. So this thing can stay overbought for an extended amount of time. Uh, positive momentum, believe it or not, is continuing to build, but man, we haven't seen a red histogram wick since oh, the week of February 2019, early, the first week of February of this year. Been all positive ever since then, man. Jeez. What's up, blank man? <clears throat> OJ Punk? So, I mean, like, I was concerned about it till this, until we, like, it was showing, like, divergence. It was beginning to paint divergence, and then just said, nope, gonna keep going. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're overbought, man. But again, you can stay overbought for a long time. Look, look what happens in bull trends, man. How you get overbought. You get not overbought only to get overbought again. I mean, look how nasty this weekly bearish divergence was on Bitcoin. Jeez, dude. It was insane. It played out too. 
Your TA is not the best on YouTube. Bruh. Hey man, maybe not, but whoever said it was, man. Whoever, you know, it's not like I said that. I'm but simple TA men, and I don't try to compare myself to other people. I try to just be myself, do my thing. I'm just trying to live this life, man. We're on this spinning piece of, you know, dirt in the solar system, man. All right? In the universe, in the galaxy, in the probably multi multiverse with string theory, if you believe that. I don't know. We don't know, but... Uh, but what I've chosen to do with my consciousness is uh, love charts and I just stream it man and it's like hey that's it dude thank you uh, sarcastic RS guy <laughs> stochastic RSI chat dude that's pretty brilliant I mean that's I need a I need a laugh like a good laugh on my sound bit that laughs for me Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't have anything um, for comedy, for laughter. I need something. Chat. Send me your sound clips of funny giggles and laughs. Okay. Oh, we can always play this one. I have some evidence. Man, bear, pig could be in this area. Yeah, there you go, dude. So, thank you, Mr. Sarcastic Guy. RSI Guy. I don't know. All right, so... Look what happens. I mean, this is a uh, crazy dude. Weekly time scale on Bitcoin, man. And you, uh, just, we're tripping through time. Remember, we do this high on price, higher high on price, lower levels of relative strength, man. Ooh, super monkey ass. And then it played out. Played out. I mean, think about it. You went from a high of 13 or 1,348. All the way down to uh, eight hundred ninety-seven dollars. One heck of a change, isn't it? Hmm. Wow. Thirty-three percent drop. Thirty-four percent drop. Jeez, it's pretty lit, man. So it does play out, but then it pivots and rallies again if the trend's truly bullish, right? We did it again, man. We did it again. Is that a joint? Man, I just got here and it's already weird up on TDS. Miss Ray, you, me, drinks. This weekend, buddy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Dude, if Matthew McConaughey, I would so hang out with Matthew McConaughey in Texas, man. I'm going to Texas, Chad. We're going we're gonna to be doing a traveling TA again. And we're going to keep doing it. And we just when we're tired and we've done too much traveling TA, we're gonna do some more. And maybe we'll see Matthew McConaughey along the way. Bruh. Thank you, dude. Alright, so. Bruh. Sarcastic RS guy tip $25. I'm not impressed that you caught that one. Oh my god, dude. Well, you know. Hey, what if it's opposite day though? It might be opposite day chat so you just never know you never know oh sarcastic rs guy what about uh you should try pun because that was pretty brilliant you should try puns with the mac d now i don't know if there's anything chat can we give it a shot how do we make uh the mac d hilarious too because look man you can't just use just the stochastic or the sarcastic RS guy. You must do something with the MACD, the Fibonacci, <laughs> horizontal line support, whatever, man. Whatever it is, I'm going to put your wit to the test. All right? Bruh. Thank you, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you've given me the giggles, man. All right? Here we go again, chat. High on price. Higher high on price on the weekly. And it played out. Right, went from 5,011 all the way down to 2,972. I'm sure some of y'all remember that crap. What? Oh my God, we're screwed. And then, of course, see ya. All time lives. So, you know, we're not even doing that, chat. Like, none of that stuff is even happening over here yet. Like, how much positive momentum we have compared to before, right? 
it's uh it's crazy it's pretty insane so i don't, I don't know man like um were you on the weekly divergence i mean those were really when you got your big moves down man the big dumps the golden arch took 25 dollars too easy the golden arch wait the golden arch Okay, 12,150. The golden arch. I mean, there's the golden mean ratio. What? Oh my god. Gert Yon sent in super chat at $61.89. Mitch, you are the most genuine TA man on YouTube. Every day choose streams, hours and hours streaming in bearish and bullish times. Hard. Golden <laughs> hands. Champagne bar. <bottle. laughs> Mr. Sentendu, thanks so much for 3.99 euros, man. Unreal. Is that a joint? Consider spirit of truth, rubber, and X. From YouTube for an obnoxious ha ha laugh. Parental advisory advice. Oh, uh, holy crap! Thank you, Elon, or Balkan Kang, for the 420 contribution. Um, parental, well, it's kind of early, right? So, children might be a uh, freaked out. They might be disturbed. <laughs> People in chat might be disturbed. Okay, I can tell. Chat, I can see you, and I can see how you're feeling, man. The only word for it is disturbed. That's okay, though. We can all be disturbed together. <laughs> Holy crap, man. The golden arch, though. I mean, the golden arc, but the golden... I mean, I got we have the golden retrace. We got the golden mean ratio. We have the golden zone. We have the golden cross. So it's the cross versus the, the arc. I don't know. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't like, dude, sarcastic RS guy is unreal, dude. Like, that's, you screwed yourself on that one because it was too good. You should have started it out. So you just played your best hand, man, I think, right? 12,163 session highs. 10 minutes left on the 60 minute. We got an hour, 10 minutes left on the faux hour and the daily candle. All right. Going to try to be around for it. All right. Oh crap, sorry, I'm not being able to see too much chat, but uh, Mach 3. Bruh. <laughs> Mach 3 tip $25. I am the most precise indicator. Yeah, dude, Mach 3, dude, it's uh, what is it? Hold on, you you have to know this one. What was it called? Mach 5, right? Remember how they talked? I should talk like that, man. I typed in Mach 5 talking and it didn't work. Dude, that's not it. I don't know, man. Does anyone know how they talk? Ha ha ha! Ha! Oh, hey, look. Hey, turn this. Things are $3 uh, super chat, man. Making you look silly. Common man. I am common man. I am simple man. Simple TA man. That's it, dude. And it will never go beyond that. Okay. Chat, stay humble. Always. Or the universe will make you become humble. And my bad. I should have had... Uh, I'm embarrassed. Mach 3. The Mac D. The most precise indicator. Is that... Uh, Oh, okay, because the shaving, right? Mach 3, turbo. Yes. Yes. Not bad, dude. <clears throat> the rain's here. And I don't know why. We just didn't have the thunderclouds. Silly me. I'm in Bear's chat. Sorry. Okay. Since we're uh, bouncing for now, I'll, I'll leave the lightning out of the situation. We'll just leave it like this, okay? That's cool. If you notice, there's a tornado coming at you. Oh, my God. In the background, behind chat. Obviously, someone's like joking, right? They made like a spoof account. Okay, chat. Just clearing that for the record. The Golden Arch at McDowell's. Oh, really? Is it the Golden Arch? Is that what they call it? I remember in the movie, then like McDonald's will be like taking pictures of their establishment. He's like, get out of here. It goes with a Big Mac D. Oh my God. 
There you go, Heath, man. Perfect. Y'all killing it, man. Killing the game. Moon Riggins fills my bids today at 294. Let's moon. All right, Kevin Grubb, man. Things are the threes, dude. Yeah. We'll check it. I mean, we'll see, dude. Uh, 294. Bruh. Drink troll tip $25. That's all I got. Oh, Tapped out. Like... Never claimed to be a professional comedian. Bring it on, dude. Bring it on. Sorry, I've been doing it. doing things. You never claim. Yeah, it's true. He didn't, chat. But we will revere him as one. Okay. You are our favorite comedian, Drink Troll. We had suspicion it might have been you. Just didn't know, man. All right. I was watching Tone Vase earlier this morning. He finally got bullish on BTC at 13,100. Ten minutes later, it dumped. He's the worst. Bruh. Did that really happen? I'm sorry to hear that. You who hates Tone Vase. Uh, I really hope that... Uh, did he not see the cipher? At least, I mean, we knew it. Obviously, nothing's certain. Uh, but then you were like getting pretty weak on the daily towards the end of it. Uh, but dude, the weekly still looks okay for now. You're still in the green, and uh, I think you're probably okay on the weekly, unless you fall below 11,800, 11,500. Think that's a big deal. I just became a Bitcoin maximalist. Can I chill? Bruh. Um. How would you shill Bitcoin? Show me, show me Ian and chat how you would shill Bitcoin, okay? And I'll, uh, I might allow it, but Drink Troll might have the final say, okay? Drink Troll's kind of security guard for Bitcoin shilling in here. So, uh, give it your best shot, bro. All right. Thank you, dude. Man, Sinton. Thanks again, dude. Nice one, Marvin Butler. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'll turn your $100 into crap and then turn your crap into $0 by magic. No, he's okay. He was just being satirical. Because I just, I just uh, pronounced the S coin and made it crap, right? I will turn your $100 into crap and then turn your crap into zero by magic. Yeah, dude, he was definitely being funny there. Thanks, Marvin, man. I get you, dude. But uh, just gotta be careful, dude. Real careful. People will destroy you if you use that word. That S coin. Is it too late to join the Patreon for this month, TJ? Uh, think about it like this, man. You got 21 days uh, left in the month. And so it's all dependent on, do you want, do you think you could study and learn in 21 days or is it going to take you? Cause it's like 21 days versus 30 days, right? Of the Patreon. So it's up to you, man. Like main reason you join, I think is for the education and support in the stream, but uh, there's trade setups that, uh, you know, the ones we had just got uh, wrecked. I mean, you stopped out. It happens dude. That's why you have stops. My God. I think Litecoin went like over $10. After we got stopped out, it went down 10 more dollars. Just like, geez, it happens, man. You have trade setups that uh, we don't expect anything because the market can do anything. So Laud, Aramis, KHP, Miss Gonzalez, what up? No, you're good, Morgan Freegan. Morgan Freegan, it's okay, man. All right. <laughs> there you go, Marvin, man. There you go. Perfect pronoun, right? Wait, well, Eric, man, I, I mean, that's like the, you know, you can have arguments, but it's just, what happened to those XRP that just flew out of the jar? What? We have ghosts going on. I mean, that was drink troll, man. Yeah, man, it's you gotta make your arguments with technical analysis, not uh, just mysticism. Oh no. Okay, I'm good. I was lagging for a second. God, dude. 
my IT guy's coming over tonight and I've like time stamped all of my freezes while I've been live and not live. I'm just gonna try to get to the bottom of it again. up uh Lenny I don't know dude about that okay what's the oscillator doing Germanicus uh what time scale right weekly it's uh overbought stupid amounts of positive momentum I haven't seen anything like this I mean not not really dude I mean I think this is a uh, exceptional Wait, think about the weekly like I said earlier we haven't seen negative momentum on the weekly since February 4th, 2019. What? <laughs> Bro. Join my course. Coin of the month is Bitcoin. Nice one, Monty. Monty, dude. Reggie GM doing well, man. Just uh, hanging out. We're, uh, we got one hour till the daily close. We are bouncing off of a critical horse on support. Bruh. You didn't ratchet down those chug percentages on me, right, Mitch? Dude. Smiley face. Eggplant. All right, so, uh, no, I haven't touched it. I'll show you what I showed you before, okay? Zebras notice that in order to dial us the word mom on your phone, you have to dial six six six. Kind of makes you wonder. Kind of makes you wonder. Did this one? Yeah. Variation. Let's see. Where is it? Okay, so. You have an, remember you still have an eight percent chance on thirty three thirty three, and you have a six percent chance on twenty five. Okay, and that's the way it was before last time I showed you. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's nine percent. Sorry, nine percent, not eight. Right. So there you go, man scuffed it's there man though it's definitely there okay so it's all about the numbers man dude someone got I mean you know last time the team tried the community tried they got me the last time you tried I don't they think a couple days ago it didn't work right so I think 33-33 is your best bet, man. Okay. But I think we've seen there were 25s hit more than than 33s. So. Whether coins, day trader, holders, dream. I mean, it's Bitcoin, right? So what's up with this? So we got people TTSing other analysts. Chat, why? What's the point, man? I don't know. <clears throat> As it stands for me, man, again, waiting for more pattern development, waiting for something to show up on the oscillator that would give me reason to believe we would have impending price action versus the upside. That's it. Okay. No, not on 25, dude. Not on 25.
Okay. Sword of a Thousand Truths. Tip option. Marvin, what do you mean, though? How would I... What is that? What would I do if it hit? Okay. Which coin will be a holder's dream? Oh, I got you, Tommy, man. What's up, dude? What potentially... We could potentially blow previous levels of highs on the D. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, of course, you could. You could also sell off and you know hit other areas of support again, like 8,200, 10,000, right? And then rally, right? We haven't done any kind of retrace on the weekly yet. Dude, none. Take a break. I'm losing credibility. Bruh. Thanks, man, for the uh, 350. Okay. Appreciate it. And I guess, like, people aren't taking kindly to what his analysis was. I don't know, dude. Do people do this to me in other streams <laughs> that don't like me? Has anyone seen that yet? Oh my god. <sighs> Bro, it was just getting too much, man. Like, my poor liver, dude. Okay? That's just like... I don't know, man. It's like when you got a whole community gunning for you, dude. Drink troll, it's just, it's just tough, man. Okay. I just think about long term the sustainability for myself, I guess, right? I've just got to be somewhat careful with my body, man. All right. And so, you know, that's it. Muhammad says, Miss, just watch your Fibonacci video. Great info. Thanks much. Thank you for uh, watching it, man. Hopefully you got something out of it. Watch it a couple times. It's from the South Park. It's a GIF. Your mods know about it. All right. Tell them to let me know, man. Mods, let me know about that. Hey, Prodigal Taurus, man. Yeah, so I just hope, uh, I mean, I'm sure, like, people talk crap about me, so, like, you know, I would, I, I don't know, but I'm sure it would suck. It doesn't feel good, maybe, right? Oh, here we go, then. Here we go. Bruh. All right, let's play a game. When I hit the chug, whatever shit coin I type in my message, you have to attempt a serious technical analysis okay. of. BRD. I'll do it, man. I I'll do it. That sounds fair. All right. Here we go, chat. Here we go. And we'll be voting on a hat soon, too, I think. <laughs> dude, when when Dream Troll warns you, dude, he doesn't bluff, man. Okay. So, uh, here we go. I'll just put this up. Okay. Monkey S in the chat. So, uh, anyway, just, I mean, this is what you sometimes should expect. You know, you don't. Like if you just if you busted through it, you just went ran right through it. Neo. Nice, dude. Thanks for 3333 PM, of course. Bruh. Dude, I should do a some sort of Justin Sun scrub sound clip every time someone tips 3333. I don't know how you know he's like, we will do things, man. We will do things at Tron University. Bruh. Chairman Jerome Powell tipped $23.58. Do you guys have any questions about rate cuts or the economy, or are we just going to spend three hours talking about this damn Libra coin? Zuckerberg Connect. Zuckerberg Connect. Well, I guess we can play it then, right? We can play it. Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Pask. Hell no! Pask? That's on Trading View? Hey, you gotta make sure it's on Trading View. Oh, it is. Oh, my God. It is. Oh, God. So disgusting, man. Bruh. There was like a double bottom at one time. We looked at this back in August of 2018. I haven't looked at this in so long, but I can't, man. Okay, you 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 name the rules. I am I will abide the dude to buzz. God dang it. 
That was too easy, man. Too easy. Vert coin? Oh, kill me, dude. Drink troll tip $33.33. VTC. Oh, God. I thought the alcohol would preserve my liver. Oh, well. I am not amused. Good city, man. Thank 1337. All right. Drink troll got me. I got to go get a beer um, and attempt some technical analysis on this trash can, man. Oh, God. I remember there were uh, these shills in here, too, man. Oh, my God. There's just like no demand for the asset. There's like no one playing this crap. Bruh, bruh. Dude, drink troll. I might as well just chug with a hat on. So we're gonna do the vote, okay? And I will look at Burt coin. All right. ICX. All right, let me um, let me do the straw poll real quick. Thank you, uh, Drink Troll. My God. <laughs> We've done. I've, I've been Vet Moon Boy two days in a row now, or like two streams or three streams in a row, or something crazy. We'll see if it, the streak continues, man. Okay, chat. Jar is full. You can vote. Cast your vote, man. How do you send a super chat? Uh, there's a dollar sign next to where you type. Click on the dollar sign. And after that, that's it. Or you can tip me in cryptocurrency in the description below or stream elements in the description below. Okay. We're going to fit a trash can. Prago Taurus. Yeah, in Austin, man. Okay. Is that cool? Dude, this thing is so disgusting. You picked the worst thing ever. It's been around a long time. Pretty long time relative to crypto in 2014, man. It's actually pretty interesting on Vertcoin, dude. It really is. Okay. I'm actually kind of excited to look at Vertcoin on the daily. Look what you've done, dude. The Twin Towers fell faster than most modern sports cars in the one quarter mile. Uh, no. What? Thanks. Do the new hat. Give people the one. Dude, it's like I can't chug in that hat and I can't get. I can't be like drinking on alcohol. Um, I've got a flight to catch. Not. I can't say exactly when, but very soon. Okay. So, uh, but I mean, obviously, if the chugs happen, all right, I, the dude abides. All right, but that will be unveiled soon. TBD. Okay, man. Okay, so the hat. What was it? What did y'all pick? What are y'all picking? Oh, the wizard. Y'all, the wizard peoples today. Yeah, vote on what you want. 96 votes so far. Troll tip twenty-five dollars. We did it. Congrats, Vert Coin Moon Boys. Vert Kane. Vert Coin. Sorry, tried to. Vert Kane. <laughs> Vert Kane doing things, man. Let's go. All right. It looks like the wizard's winning. Trying to I'll give it a couple more minutes before I go get that beer and put the hat on. We'll just do it at the same time like we did last time, or like we've done in the past. It just happens that jar fills up and then drink. Uh, the chug variation will go off. All right. Can we get a cone-shaped shot glass for the bit can? I bet Drink Troll would buy one if we got a cone-shaped shot glass. I don't even know how that would work, though. It wouldn't be like a, a vase V-shaped for, like, V-chain, Kappa. So we got 48 minutes left. Okay. Until the daily close, that is. And you're still kind of hammering on the four hour. Bruh. You just said I can't be drinking on alcohol. I heard those words come out of your mouth. What the? 
it's just uh, I'll be okay. All right, I'll be okay. Once we get the hat figured out, I'll be chugging and uh, do your worst. Like I'm telling Drink Troll, do his worst, man. It's uh, bring it on, man. Feeling froggy today. Feeling kind of froggy. Kind of like this kind of frog, man. Not some, nothing like this. Nothing like that. All like that. Okay. Let's go. Hide in the chat for Drink Troll and. Hans of Rose Radio, man. Is Drink Troll an exotic dancer? Mighty Mushroom, we have now people uh, asking questions. Drink Troll, are you an exotic dancer? I've never asked that either. Are you? I'm kind of curious now. Thank you, Mighty Mushroom, for the five. Super chat, dude. Appreciate it. What does Kappa mean? It just means just kidding. Kappa is Twitch talk. All right. Kappa is literally sarcasm. But you say something seriously, then you just put Kappa behind it. So, like, people that don't know Kappa, they might think I'm being serious. And I'm like, let it be known for the record that he said Kappa. This is a spinning Kappa. That is Kappa. Okay. It's a Twitch emote. Welcome. Welcome to the Evan Show. 2019, bring it on. No, it's day. What's up, about Juan Art, Midnight Runner? Feeling the ready to rumble, dude. Why am I tripping? Genetics. I don't understand. What does Froggy mean? Well, the internet's well, it answer better than me. What does froggy mean? Of or like a frog or frogs? Coincidence that each of these dips allows for BTC to gather more market dominance? How high will dominance go before flowing down into alts? Brew. Uh. I am for the right price. Drink troll tip $25. I am for the right price. Well, there you have it, chat. All right. What is that price drink troll? I'm sure people want to know. All right. Froggy also means a French person. Okay, here we go. Froggy, according to the Urban Dictionary, to be jumpy or anxious to do something. Johnny was feeling froggy, so he drove to the city to find something to do. Then all, Urban Dictionary's alternative says feeling froggy usually means that you feel horny. Okay. So it can mean many things. That's not... I, I'm totally meaning it like of or like frog or frogs. Okay. You get a chat, right? Uh, so the hat. Okay, looks like the wizard has a chat. All right, so we'll get this beer, get the wizard hat on, and we'll keep the party going. If you enjoyed the interesting live stream it's turned into, hit that like button, that bell. That's a big bearish and golden candle. All right, you went from, uh, you got as high as 68.51 all the way down to 67.24. Not that much, right? Crazy, right? It's like the upside and then the bounce, back test, and then the cipher, man. Wow. What a crazy world we live in. You added a meme in Drink Trolls Honor, Crypto Stacks? Oh, interesting. Sorry, I haven't looked at uh, chat or like my Discord. It's been behind the other one. Uh, is there memes and stuff or is it general? Wow, what in the world is that, dude? Okay, Drew Troll, this is evidently real life. 
Metro ATA after a drink troll arrives. Drunk level Sharpie Tuxedo. Yeah, been around that level before. Man, the the one where we played Rocky. We were like literally playing the Rocky music. It was back and forth, and I was just taking sips every time he tipped. Oh my god, it was it was brutal. Yep. Good lord. All right, I'm getting this beer. It's really I just gotta get the cup. I'm downstairs. Yeah, so I can chug. All right, I'll be right back, chat. Y'all amazing. Like button, bell, sub, kings, queens, frogs. Oh my god. Chug verse or analyze first? Let's see. Definitely showing daily bullish divergence as we've done before for Rowan. Vertcoin Connect, hilarious. Yeah, just on the RSI, you have nice, very well established bullish divergence going on. All being oversold, uh, played out some, but still, at, look at this level, man, where you've just never broken it before, right? 2,700 sats. You were there in 2015. You were there in 2016. You're now very soon to be here again in 2019. So potential lower risk area where we've never fallen below it ever in the history of this asset that's been around since 2014. Burcoin might be one to watch. <laughs> oh my God. That's about it, man. So maybe, dude, maybe. But it's, it's just trash can coin, okay, man? That's pretty good, man. Setting alert up. 
All right, what we're gonna do, we're setting up an alert here, all right? On this trend line. Hive in the chat for BTC. Look, you had a Momo shift breakout. It ran up, stalled, scrubbed out again. Now, here you are. The last line of defense for thousands of years, Drink Troll. Vert Chain, Vert Coin Connect has uh, held the wall against the White Walkers. Hope to God uh, they don't screw it. Screw this up, dude. Screw it up. Somehow let the White Walker get a dragon, all right? Hide my check. There you go, dude. Don't me up. Uh, pour this beer so I can get wrecked. Hold on. So like for some reason my mini fridge wasn't closed all the way, so the beer is like it's it's not like hot, but it's not really that cold. Oh man. Is that a joint? Can you do a TA for wax? Oh wax. Wow. Maybe. Yeah, wax, dude. You want, dude. you want to see our trade setup on wax that we did? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. So amazing, dude. Wax. right fine ask about wax all you want bro <laughs> all right <laughs> this is the funniest one ever dude it ran up it hit both targets and then it was over and look at it now Re Dude, the spring, man, it was like that false breakout, and then you came back in and then back tested. It was like a crazy uh, higher low, and it was like right here. Like, you kidding? And this is it. This is where it went, man. My coffee and Kangish behavior into complete peasantry. Oh, music's so loud. Sorry. Gosh. Did you hear anything I just said, man? Probably not. It's okay though. <laughs> Finally, a wizard hat. Yeah, Crypto Sardo. It's definitely the least popular, right? Wizard hat gets the least amount of love, man. Can't believe this YouTuber does such random piece of crap shit coins and chugs beer on the stream in a wizard hat. Bruh. 
welcome to 2019 sarcastic rs guy bill guy the sarcastic something i don't know dude all right sorry the uh complete muscle relaxation setting in he normally does okay these things happen so uh i'll be okay man Whew. dang dude Drink troll. Who knew is drinking his 150th anniversary Jack Daniels and watching the stream? Wow. Is it is uh, Jack Daniels that old now, Chad? Is that what happens? But uh, when we're talking about wax coin now. Who cares, man? Who literally cares? It's trash, and will may remain trash most likely. Okay. Seriously. Bat stood stood tall. Yeah. I don't know, man. Bat's kind of been in a downtrend. And here's the dumpster fire. Randy Schultz, man. Have the chat for Randy Schultz. Let's go. Is that a joint? Bruh. Thank you, Randy. That's your... Welcome back, right? Dude, this wizard hat looks like a gardener's hat, okay? It's just not cool, man. It's just not not doing it. It's supposed to go this way, dude. There we go. That's that's better. I no it's not. It's kinda weird still. Music's over too. Gosh dang it, dude. There we go, ish. Whatever, man. That'll have to do for now. Alright. Still a Quaker, a Quaker of some sort. Here's your, here's your uh, wax connect life now, dude. Okay. Complete dumpster fire. Where do you even Fibonacci from? You this low to the wick, for from the low to this high, right? Like, what in the heck do you even do here? It's like so difficult with the low liquidity S coinage stuff. Like, you just can't do much with fibs. Getting targets is very tough because you don't really know. Um, who will like you know people around the world what they're doing with their Fibonacci they're using this high point this one it's kind of tough so really you're in outer space Matthew McConaughey breakout interstellar Jesus man right inverse Jesus man in this situation so vert coin epic fail dude epic freaking fail all time lows right now today so bad hey Mitch just wondering at which swing high point should I fib from on Tesla on the one day, mage. Thank you, Adrian, for the 10 uh, euro. I kind of want to eat a euro tonight, man. You were saying uh, which swing high point should you fib on Tesla? Oh, I would I would think that uh, the December 7th, December 11th, 2018 high. Right? You broke the downtrend. And uh, you have yet to break the crazy resistance point now. It was once a critical support. It is now being regarded as resistance, right? So you're climbing, but you haven't broken that yet. So that's the way I have it. Just up here, height of the structure that you broke out of to the bottom point. And here you go, 382. Well, the beginning of the golden zone at 382 is 254.70 all the way to 301.45, which is the 618. Okay. That's it. Ribonacci's on your barbecue, Magnum Well. Excellent, dude. Very good. So technical earning tips, how you doing? Literally lollies in the chat, man. What up, dude? Peter Pan hat. No way, dude. Peter Pan doesn't wear a wizard hat or a gardener's hat or a Quaker's hat. And it's also green. Am I an ex-WoW player? Yeah, I played WoW back in the day, man. Gladiator Resto Shaman. Get wrecked, dude. Retray said, so you're saying there's a chance with WaxCoin. Uh, no, there was. And we it was a Patreon trade setup. And then it wasn't after it was, once it hit. It was just done after that, man. Music's too quiet. Oh, maybe it is, dude. How's the France Wizard Radio, man? What's he saying right now, dude?
What do they say in chat? Sagittario, man. There. Okay, Adrian, does that clear it up? Pretty uh, simple, it seems like, right? I wish it was more complicated than that. Hey, to low golden zone. Bruh. Oh, I might. Ah, oh, there's just no good Euros around here, man. They have good Euros in Austin, man. Because I could definitely go for some. All right. Seriously. Anyone in, in ATX, let me know if there are Euros. I'd love to eat. Nom nom. Thank you, uh, your Euro for the 25. Legendary. Dang, dude. I can't make this look real on the screen. It's okay. Oh, it's so wet in here, dude. I can't shave my beard until 20k. <sighs> Not gonna bode well for me. Now, Austin, man. What's up, uh, Steve K? Sorry, man, just behind. Bill Nye, the RSI guy. Mm. I don't think it can ever be topped. The uh, sarcastic. RS guy, because it's like stochastic RSI. It was too perfect, man. Uh, sarcastic RS guy, his joke was like, I don't know, Apple inventing, revolutionizing the phone, or inventing the revolution I hear of the GBTC is a thing. What do you think? I think things about GBTC, man. I have feelings. If things don't work out with the new girl, I'll be your wingman and we'll find you a Lesbonazi replacement. Oh, is that all that exists in Austin? No contrary, right? And we get up $25. I can be your gyro. Baby. Bruh. Yeah, it's like, I can be your euro, baby. I can satiate your hunger. I can't remember the words because the music's playing. I can be your hero, baby. I can kiss away the pain. I can kiss away the hunger. I will stand by you. I will stay in your stomach for four hours. And then... I don't know. Then it's going to leave. I don't know, dude. Someone come up with the words for this Enrique Iglesias song, dude. I was talking about... That reminds me of the seventh grade gala, dude. Or gala. The dance, the seventh grade, the middle school dance. Okay, that song. It's not bringing back my memories, dude. <laughs> this is too bad, man. <laughs> too freaking bad. 24 minutes left on our daily candle, four hour candle. Austin is. Okay. Joel, I didn't know that. I don't even know what that is, man. Okay. I guess I'm gonna become cultured. Oh yeah, you can take my Zuki away. <laughs> Tazuki, whatever. Dude, we're having too much fun, man. Too nice, man. Save from copyright due to parody loophole. Are you sure, Brad? Gala versus Gala. You say it's Gala, Bobby? Probably, man. All right. Dude, hilarious. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks again, uh, Randy Man, for joining the Patreon. Just met us ago, dude. Appreciate it a lot. Holy crap. Hoppy Clouds release party. Okay. Dude, it's like everything's happening on July 12th, man. Holy crap. Do you think the four hour shows are reversal on Bitcoin? Um, I think we reversed to the downside, but now we're showing some sort of nice rejection wick and potential hammer, bullish arami. Yes, yeah, looking pretty decent on the four hour for now, but negative momentum has just begun to build. So there could be more downside potential, but I mean, I, I would prefer that we don't because you don't want to fall below. This is a critical support, horizontal line support, dude. Don't fall below it. You tested it and you bounced just like when you fell 
right? When you fell from uh, this area, you went all the way down here and then bounced hard. Never saw it, never saw it again. You're holding these sports good. Three get up $25. I can't make your breath stinky. I can make your breath stinky. Yeah, dude, that's it, man. Perfect. Freaking perfect, man. Holy crap. Sorry, I got to change it up a little bit. The, uh, the music, man. Just give me a sec. Okay. This one's good. All right. Perfect, dude. On the Bronze Radio, man. Enrique Euro Glacius, man. All right. Enrique Gracias. I don't know, man. Something like that. This could be a meme. We just don't know. Fib the jar. Uh, they were the one two seven two right now. So me fib. So okay. Swing high to low. We have to move it always a little bit. There. Okay. All right. We are at the one two seven two. Just slightly above the 12725 extension on the jar chat. Okay. There you have it, right at it. So no 1414 yet. Got to go higher. We, I don't think we've ever in the history of the show hit a 1618 fib extension before. I think it's impossible, maybe. Unless you have the huge jar, right? The pint jar. And then that doesn't matter because you have different swing highs then, right? So 1272 for people asking about the jar. Okay. So yes, very, very nice looking potential reversal candle right here. A hammer, a hammer, dude. Okay. Altcoin's kind of recovering, I guess. Whatever. But all you did on this sell-off was backtest the old downsloping resistance of the inverse head and shoulders that is confirmed. And now you're, and it was a horizontal support, and now you're, you're rallying off that pretty nice buying pressure that pushed you just right back up. Okay. Where at one time earlier today you were at eleven thousand five hundred. You're up uh, seven hundred plus dollars now, right around that. Okay. Cool. Oh my God. Why is the music always so loud, dude? Here we go. Crypto Steam Man, Kelly Howells. Welcome to Howl's Harmonic. Yep, still climbing, showing some strength into the close. Not too bad, Matt. Not too bad. It's cool though, right? Very cool. There's another way to look at it. And again, I thought it was scrubby because the heart line was no respect at all. Like none. Absolutely no respect here on the hotline. This makes me feel like. Eh. Is that a joint? Mrs. McConaughey drank all my booze and smoked all my reefers. Going to the store. Drink for me in my absence. My wife says I will stand by you forever. You can take my breath away. Thank you, uh, Matthew McConaughey, for the 420 contribution. All right. Be careful on your journey, on your epic journey to uh, outer space. Okay, man. Tell your wife I say hello. Okay. Tell her not to judge my uh, <coughs> hat that much. Okay. It's kind of scuffed. Scrubby. Scuffed wizard. Scu scuffed Gandalf, right? Chat. Okay, so um, this is just another way to look at it. Again, I, it's not really doing anything. It's just kind of another way, right? Just another idea. We just have like one and two now, and then three on the bottom. And there's probably like 25% support here. I mean, yeah, you could probably do like equidistant channel and probably get more touch points, but whatever, man. It's too small. I, I think it's too small of a channel to have equidistant. But look, man, there you go. It's just in the short term, one and two and three, and then 25 support, heartline resistance, 25 support. So what is 75 resistance, right? So, I mean, this could be going on too. Just an idea, man. Short term idea that means you can go all the way down to 11,500 again in time 
All right. Bullish pin bar developing on the four hour, which is a bullish reversal pattern. I'm in chat for the bullish pin bar. Loan, we just did that. Are you just tuning in? We literally just did that moments before you said that. Okay. Get an umbrella. Ooh. My wizard hat is my umbrella, dude. Okay. Balamos, let the TA take you over. Balamos, whatever that means. It's a, I know it's like an Enrique Glacia song or whatever, right? So, Spiracy, Yama, Marcus Aurelius. Eat a euro, baby. There you go, Jake Lover. Perfect, man. Chat. Someone, uh, let's do this. Let's make a video of it, okay? Let's do a video of euros, Enrique Iglesias, and somehow implement technical analysis, too. Bear ciphers, bullish pin bars. Is that a heading shoulders on CL1? On the four hours, and if so, are we close to the neckline? Well, sir. Oh. Oil futures, man. Is that uh, an inverse head and shoulders? Seal one on the four hour, and if so, where's the neckline? Kind of weird, man, right? Kind of a weird, not very symmetrical inverse head and shoulders, if you wanted to call it that. But I would say that if it was, I'll show you, it's upsloping. It's an upsloping neckline of some. Sort of, again, kind of scuffed because the lower, you know, you have oblong shoulders in this situation. And only you want symmetry. Symmetry is what makes the pattern so discernible to people around the world, right? So if it was interpreted that way, left, sh you know, like whatever, dude, like a Chernobyl birth defect, head and shoulder, right? You could have looked at it like a double bottom two and measured moves already hit. So if it was, it's like slightly sloping, you're at it, right? You're at the neckline, so you haven't broken it. You're overbought, so that's something to be, um, you know, what happens when you get overbought on crude oil futures? When we get out of overbought territory pretty fast. So that's it, man. Uh, this is the neckline. If it was one, if you were to look at it like that, Adrian, okay, does that help? Let me do, dude. Remember this high to low retrace golden retrace area, and then hey, look, it was like a hey, okay. Well, you had a scuffed looking head and shoulders, too, right? Left shoulder, head, scrubby, right shoulder, but not really slightly down sloping. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll, I'll say this, dude. I'll, I'll tell you this. I think what you've done now. having a geometric, geometrical breakout so that's pretty good man very good so the next step is you have to run up to 6378 and break that and hold above it to have any kind of uh, hope for some sort of price action reversal or some, some sort of trend reversal okay All right support support no trend and uh, you're not you got to make our high eventually you have to break 66 dollars okay otherwise you're screwed all right, another way to look at this, that was a real geometrical breakout, right? I think another way we can now plot is uh, maybe one and two on the bottom. All right, you're near that heart line, and this is the trend you're currently in on the way up. Higher lows, so some sort of accumulation is going on. That's why this tr trend line or this channel is valid, right? From the low points and the high point. Okay, that makes sense. Great. Hello. So far, we've retraced. Hey, we're at the golden retrace. Potential price action reversal here with some bearish divergence developing on the RSI. High, slightly higher high. And a golden retrace could lead you to believe we might reverse here. Maybe some sort of higher low double top. Okay. Just gotta be careful. I, I wouldn't consider this a head and inverse head and shoulders. I think it's too scuffed, weird looking. Okay. Good God, man. 
Oh, did I not go to GBTC? I'm crazy, man. Sorry. So you're asking, is there a big bearish and golden candle? Gross. Gap fill. Not all of them, though. You said, is there bearish divergence on the daily for GBTC? Uh, more so like bearish convergence, because remember, the only way to make a real bearish divergence is by double topping, which one could almost argue that this was a double top. So potentially, yes, on GBTC, it does look that way, doesn't it, on RSI and MACD. But remember, if your trend is overwhelmingly bullish, to the extent of how far we sell off after bearish divergence, uh, it could be tenuous. It could be not that much. We got 11 minutes left until the daily and four hour close on Bitcoin. We're going to GBTC. Grace, uh, Grayscale. Trust. Okay. Yeah, read some chat. Hey, Reggie G, thanks for watching, man. Bullish cipher on the move up. XABC, that means we haven't sold off near enough yet, so. Hey, Sean Hunter, what's up, dude? Okay, sorry. We're going to talk about Litecoin. Uh, Litecoin destroyed. Oh, we looked at it, I think, earlier, maybe. Yeah, divergence. On the four hour and the daily, for that matter. Yes. But, uh,. It's almost like it's like convergence divergence where you could argue it's a double top. You could also argue it's a technical lower high. So it's just right there where it's about the same. Like, you know, it's it's there. Yes, it's there. Right now. Sorry. I had an idea earlier today. Should have to patrons. Um Think about like this X A B C D did not use the uh, wicks when I use the candle close man pretty close okay to well it'd be garly man if that was the case it wouldn't be bat too deep a retrace so the real PCC was like seven eight six but you clearly fell way below that but if you're just looking at the X A B C D stuff eighty eight point six percent retrace. You don't want to fall any more below that. I mean, this might be a PC or pattern completion or pattern. What's up, versus Mitch? Up. I gambled, I lost. I got back in the game. Is that a joint? How do you bet it? Uh, how did you gamble, man? What happened, dude? Thanks to 420. What you mean, honey? All right. So just an idea that uh, is kind of meh, right? Not the best looking, kind of all over the place, but it's just something to think about. It's more like the, the Bartley, right? The bat and the Gartley combined in a way. The liver blues. Yeah, dude. What's up, BMX Trades? Jump here, we're going up now. I mean, technically, somewhat, you know? Yeah, you're bouncing right near the uh, first profit taking level. Someone was shorting up here. Take they take profit. P other people will be having limit buys down here. And yeah, you're rallying because of that. Seven minutes left. Seven minutes forty seconds left on your daily and four hour. Hey, we look crypto man. What's up, dudes? Okay.
this is a dead cat bounce. I mean, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just more so, again, levels where people might cover shorts and other areas where people might uh, have limit buys already set up, and that's what created this reaction in price. But you're not making higher highs, are you? You're barely, look, you're up there and you're struggling to keep going, right? So huge spike in negative momentum starting to dwindle, which is fine. Eventually, it maybe gets back to neutral. We keep retracing. Make sure we make a lower high and solve again. Either double bottom, make a lower low. Maybe we get some real nice bullish evidence on multiple time scales. That'd be nice. We'll be waiting for that. Yep, getting close to dinner time, man. Remember, I skimped out on dinner last night for too long. Yeah, it's weird. When anytime I'm looking at my phone, it makes me look like I'm. Look right now. If, I, if I'm ever on my phone, it's like I'm. Uh, I'm concentrating. I'm casting a spell. Chat. Okay, I'm casting a spell. Why is Litecoin dropping with the halving the having coming? Dude, are you kidding me? We went from twenty-two dollars to one hundred forty-five dollars, man. It happens. Like that's that's a crazy run up. Crazy run up, man. Okay, Project Five Hundred didn't know, so he has now become learned. Awesome, dude. That's what it's all about in here. Becoming learned. All right, got uh, five minutes left till your daily close. Just running out the clock, hanging out with y'all till then. Then I've got to uh, pack and got to finish up on some laundry. I just got things I got to do, man. All right, so dinner, and then I'm try to make it back. The night stream. Yeah. Sarcastic RS guy. Yeah, dude. It's okay, uh, Psycho GHP, it's all good, man, no worries. Yeah, Reggie D, uh, Reggie G, it happens, man, <clears throat> from time to time, you know, so, uh, again, I think there are just multiple ways you can look at this where I think that there is the potential, look, man, uh, this pattern is extremely, uh, significant, uh, I mean, you could see this pattern on multiple time scales. I just don't have it on the four hour because I have the other idea of the inverse head and shoulders on that one. So it just makes it easy for me. But as you can see, man, the pattern size, it's, uh, makes sense, right? But it doesn't mean it's over at all for Bitcoin, man. Don't you think that, dude? crazy like we uh went up and almost made the same high and we had negative momentum we never picked up a positive momentum man that's what sucks the oscillators now you know after the breakout kind of selling here kind of weird you know still gonna be bearishly engulfing but not near as bad as it was before i mean earlier today remember we would hit like eleven thousand five hundred, dude so i'm sorry so just big resistance there at 12,700 and change, right? You just, that's been pesky, man. You think you're above it, right? And you just sell off and just reverse so hard. But when you sold off so hard, you went straight to the next support. And for now, you've held it. So that's good. That's very good, man. Because when we did break on the daily, we never back tested until now. Okay. Just kind of concerning here where you're just not 
All right, volume came in, I guess, a little bit in the selling, but uh, I mean, just breaking the last resistance. It just seems like Bitcoin's not ready yet or doesn't want to. The market participants, anyway, don't. So that's what we're stuck with right now. We got uh, one minute and 45 seconds chat till the daily close. I have a chat for the daily. We made it. Some dude bought a wizard cloak with 6,000 Bitcoin back in the day. Holy crap. Right system level, dude. <laughs> So what else? Uh, Josh went over. Uh, I think historically, Litecoin has performed pretty crappy after the having happens, happening, whatever. And um, but then eventually, after many months, it will then finally round out, recover, and then run to new all-time highs. So, you know, of course, history doesn't uh, mean, you know. Is not indicative of future performance, but I'm just saying that's like all, all the data we have for having happening stuff. Okay. And if there's a trade setup of figure one would use their strategy versus some sort of alien variable like that. Okay. But remember, $22 to 145. So in five, six months, that's insane. So it's selling off and getting a haircut. I mean, that's not weird. Okay. Uh, Marcus Aurelius, are you telling you sent via one up coin? I wouldn't send via Streamlabs. You would. If you use the link in the description below, it should show up. Okay, daily has uh, closed, man. You look on the 8s. That's it. New daily didn't really go very far, did you? So, chat, I made it to the daily. Yes, we did uh, confirm some sort of bullish pin bar on Bitcoin on the four hour. So, yes, you might see some higher prices, but uh, there's a chance you may not make. You may hit uh, 12,366, uh, 12,439, hit it and sell off again. Maybe make a double bottom or a lower low. Time will tell. really want to say thanks so much for all the likes the love support today the contributions uh the new patrons uh seriously y'all are this this is the best community in crypto I'm so grateful uh, i don't know if this is like updated or not probably not it, like broke recently uh, thanks for the uh 1439 people here thank you so much for the 424 likes is that a joint um, appreciate it a lot on the way out, please feel free to hit that like button, that bell, that sub. It means a lot. It helps with engagement. It helps with the growth of this channel. Um, like spike, sub spike, everything spike. Maybe Bitcoin spike, but as you can see, you're starting to sell off on the new day after the bearish engulfing candle was painted. So normally when bearish engulfing candles are painted on dailies, that means that you might see follow-up with lower prices. Okay? So keep that in mind. The daily, man. Remember, the daily bearish engulfing candle we haven't seen a bearish engulfing candle since june 27th so buckle up not starting out too hot all right chat thank you again for everything it's been a wonderful show been a lot of two hours two hours and five minutes all right gotta get some dinner gotta take care of some things do some chores and all the like so until next time, respect T A.
Is that a joint? Mr. Domingo, oh my god, have the chat. Have the chat, baby. Bro. Thank you, Mr. Domingo. Really appreciate that. You're welcome. Much love.
would be in this area. My name is JP. I'm a robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Adios, turd nuggets.